Hey, what's up, everybody? Today, we're going to walk through how you can build a custom data set off company websites, finding contact information, phone numbers, information about small businesses, and more. Everything we do in this video, you can try for free and get started in minutes. We're going to be using the tool PromptLoop, and PromptLoop.com will allow you to sign up and try out and follow along with this video today. When you're looking for information about businesses, it can be tedious to go through every individual clunky website. Your alternatives are paying someone to do it or buying an expensive data set that's probably already out of date. What we're going to do today is take a spreadsheet, just a list of names, upload that to our AI system, and then complete new columns and new data for every single row automatically. And all, that, all of it's going to take about 30 seconds. So let's get started. So let's jump in. PromptLoop is a platform that lets you build AI tasks to enrich and build out data sets. As I said, in this video, we're going to be looking at taking company websites and pulling out important information about them that we can run on 5, 10, 10,000 websites. We're going to take a list of bike companies in this example and pull out their phone number, their email, and more about them. When you start with PromptLoop, you can create a new task and ask for anything you want from the website. Anything that's available, our AI models will go out and retrieve for you. So all you need is start with a company name, a website, and then you can start to build your data set. In this case, we have already have a task created that walks through the steps of getting a company website, reading it, finding relevant information on it, and then returning location, address, phone number, and a link to the website that we can use. I've already gone ahead and pulled out a list of bike company names. So when we have a name, we can pretty easily find the company website and our models are make sure to only return the website if they're pretty sure it's the most accurate one. So I can test it out right here immediately when I have a task. So I can test it out right here with our Google style editor. All you have to do is let's type in one of the companies, Moab Cyclery, hit enter, and here we go. A website, moabcyclery.com, the address and the phone number for us to reach out to them. Great. As a next step, we can then go to an existing data set we have, an Excel file, a CSV, Google Sheets, and just click Upload. Once we have this, you'll see a pop-up saying, Upload your data set file to enrich it. So we already have our task selected here. We have one in our account. Then we can click Attach File, a list of 15 names. I pick the column name that I want to input, which in this case is name. It's going to show me the first row as an example to make sure it's right. A preview of our results are loading, but I can go ahead and submit the job. So what this is doing is sending our whole data set every single row to prompt loop models. The models then pick every row, take the input name, go through every company, find its website, and then return back all of that information right back into your account. When this finishes loading, we'll be able to see, search, and filter through that entire data set. The data set is off and in the queue and takes about two to 20 minutes to get started. The models can complete extremely quickly and we're running everything at maximum speed to get you results really fast. Part of the beauty of PromptLoop is you can launch multiple of these jobs at the same time and go about your work until the results are ready. So the job is 53% done, about halfway completed. And when it's done, we'll be able to open the file, view filter results and export what we want. You can upload as many jobs as you want at the same time and all tasks are immediately available for this tool. When we have our results completed, you'll see we have 15 rows and the data set is available on our portal. We can then open it up and immediately search for different things like mountain biking, rentals, and understand the data set and view it right away. We can also go back and click and see what the input data was so you can remember what you uploaded. In this case, we pulled down a list and we already have the categories and names and all we wanted to do was go to each website and scrape their phone number and location and contact information. I hope this video is helpful and look forward to seeing more data sets built with PromptLoop. If you have any questions, you can find this guide and more on our website at promptloop.com. And as I mentioned, if we can help you get started, please get in touch. Thanks and hope this was fun.